Clear prop. Thing two three four Yankee Papa runway one four clear for takeoff. Clear for runway four Yankee Papa turn right heading three six zero. So my pre-flight inspection generally starts at the pilot side. I check the main fuselage. I check the static port to make sure that there's no obstructions. I check the horizontal uh, stabilizer and the condition of the elevator, make sure that it moves very smoothly. I check the condition of the hinges and make sure that everything looks good with them. I check the uh, trim tab as well and make sure that everything is moving smoothly, the condition of the linkage to the elevator. Again, looking for uh, any damage or dings or dents that I hadn't noticed before. I check the, uh, the vertical stabilizer as well. I check the other side of the fuselage, the alternate static airport. Uh, check the condition of the wings. And I always rock the uh, ailerons and make sure that they move very smoothly and freely. Check the condition of the light cover. I remove the cover from my pitot tube and then I check to make sure that the fuel tanks are securely closed. Uh, I've got three fuel caps on this plane, the main and uh, two uh, auxiliary wing tanks. I check the condition of the tires, make sure that they have good tread on them and that they're inflated properly. Same with the nose wheel. Uh, generally look at the prop and I look inside the uh, engine cowling as well. Less of a concern with a hangered airplane, uh, but you always wanna make sure there's no birds or anything that have made nests inside. And then uh, coming to the left wing, again, make sure that everything is secure, that the, uh, that the aileron moves very smoothly. Zulu wind, very boy three, visibility one zero, sky clear, temperature three three, dew point minus zero four, altimeter three zero zero two. Visual approach and use, landing runway one four. Since the ground, sting two three four, Yankee Papa. Two three four, Yankee Papa, since ground. Four Yankee Papa's over the West Sea hangars with information, Papa requesting VFR flight following to uh, India Lima Echo at 5,500, please. 234 Yankee Papa, departure free is going to be 125.7, squawk 7446. So we'll smoothly advance throttle. And power is set. Airspeed is alive. Everything looks good. Instruments in the green. We got 45 knots. We got a positive rate of climb. Flaps coming up. Two, three, four, Yankee Papa, your contact sanitary approach on one, two, five, point, seven. Over approach, one, two, five, point, seven, four, Yankee Papa. So today's a little bit of an interesting flight. Um, I'm flying up to see Chelsea. She was out of town for the last week. So we got back from vacation, and then she went straight to Pennsylvania, and she was helping out with the training exercise there. So I've had these two little guys for the last week, and um, I'm flying up to see her. So usually uh, when she's home, the dogs are at the house with her, and that way they have a backyard to run around in, and um, it's just a little bit more space for them than what I have here in San Antonio. So this is their first time flying, so um, I just got there. Uh, 
Uh, their little bed all set up. Had to quick take the stick on the right side out so it comes out with two bolts. And uh, there's a little wire harness connector for the push to talk button. And so I took that out. That way they can't jump on the controls or try to mess anything up while we're flying back. So that took maybe, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, then got them all settled in and they're just kind of relaxing. They usually do well in car trips anyway. They just kind of sleep. So they are probably wondering what the heck is going on right now because this is not a normal car ride for them. It's much louder. I actually need to see about getting little earmuffs for them. So uh, one of my former coworkers from Florida, Bob Williford, built an RV and he flies with his uh, Corgi, I think it's a Corgi, uh, all over the place. And so he's got like this little, you know, earmuffs that um, strap onto the head and I should probably see about getting something like that for them if they're going to fly more often. Eventually we'll have a bigger plane where uh, we can throw them in the back and they can just kind of hang out and sleep, but just kind of wanted to see how they do today flying up to see Chelsea. We're flying Charlie Bravo, traffic uh, 11, 10 to 11 o'clock, 7 miles northbound, 5,500 is a PL-20. You'll have a uh, lower reference then. Five Charlie Bravo, Roger. Number 234 Yankee Papa, traffic 1 o'clock, 5 miles southwestbound out of 9.5 for 7 is a challenger. Four Yankee Papa's looking for that traffic. All right, so we are about halfway there, a little more than halfway. We got 23 minutes to go. So Austin International is off my uh, three o'clock, about 10 miles away. See it off in the distance there. Uh, right now I'm passing over Lakeway Air Park. So there's uh, a couple lakes here on the west side of Austin. So there's a couple air parks and airports right around here. We've got Lago Vista off to my 10 o'clock. And then right now we're flying over Lakeway Air Park. And I couldn't forget to mention that I'm supporting my, uh, my shirt right now, supporting one of my favorite YouTube aviation channels. Uh, this is from Jimmy's World, so uh, he's an Air Force guy in Florida, buys old planes and uh, tries to see if he can get them running again and fix them up. And uh, so he sells shirts and uh, I figure why not support his channel. So uh, if you like that kind of stuff, definitely check him out. Okay, so we are 17 miles away from uh, Skylark. Boys did pretty well on the flight up here. Uh, they just kind of slept the whole time. So, not too bad for the first time. Great approach, Sing 234 Yankee Papa, I've got Skylark in sight. November 234 Yankee Papa, roger, our radar service terminated. Squawk and maintain VFR, change to advisor frequency approved. Skylark traffic, Sing 234 Yankee Papa, eight miles to the south for landing on runway 19 or Skylark. So we are right by our house, right by our soon-to-not-be house anymore. We listed it for sale last week and got a bunch of offers the second day, and it's under contract. All right, so we're going to swing over here to enter the left downwind for one niner. And the runway is 848 feet, so we're going to be about 1,000 above that. We want 1,900 feet as we're entering that. Pattern. All right, I got a plane up here to my right, about two miles, 500 feet above me. Skylark traffic, seeing four Yankee Papas entering the left downwind for runway 19 or Skylark. Skylark traffic, seeing four Yankee Papa, turn to final 19 or Skylark. Okay, we'll pitch down for 65. Five hundred. Straighten up the runway here. Five knots. That looks better.
Skylar traffic, thing for Inky Papa's clear one niner Skylar. All right, so ox pump off, trim, reset, laps are up, and landing light is off. Man, that was not a good one at all. Sorry, boys. You didn't see my best landing. That was a decent crosswind. That windsock's basically straight across the runway here. And then I got a little gust right as I was about to set it down. 